This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today I want to break down one of the most loved and hated things that vloggers do. The most loved by vloggers potentially, the most hated by, I don't know, people who hate on vloggers. That is the hand covering the lens. Where it comes from, history, all that. Let's get this thing. So if you want to go back, like as far as you can go back, it actually started with this. These bad boys, call them a clapper. Back in the film days, these were super important. You needed to know what shot was what, like what take it was, what camera it was. This was the way that they sunk up like all of the things that had to do with filmmaking. Come to think of it, I think that on the first film that I shot, 16 millimeter, I think I used one of these things. I hope I can find that footage to show it to you right now. So just stick with me here, stick with me. Then you had the skaters. You had the skaters. Skaters came along and a lot of them wanted to make movies, like me, when I was a skater, as a kid. The skaters, instead of bringing along the clappers, they were like, that's, you know, they want a more minimalistic rig than that, right? So what did they start doing? They just started bringing along their hands and after every clip that they wanted to use, bam, it's covered up with the hand, right? Now you might be saying, Cody, that doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't they have just ended the clip and then you just always scroll to the end of your clip? You got your clips in your browser, you just scroll to the end of the clip and you know that at the end of every clip, there's gonna be a take that you wanna use. And the answer to that question, my friends, is this. Tape is the reason that the hand thing mattered because a tape, so first was film, then was tape, now we have like digital SD cards. Tape, it just recorded back to back to back. When you were logging clips on a tape, you were playing it and it just, it would just keep going. Like there would be cuts from when you started recording and stopped recording, but it would just, there were no clips. Man, like I'm just remembering having to take that tape in college and put it into this tape logging deck that was the worst. When stuff started recording to SD cards, that was such a game changer. Before I bring this all full circle, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is sort of, to web page design, what SD cards and digital are to filmmaking. <laughs> what I mean is, you used to, to have a great website, you used to have to hire like a design firm that would build out this multi-thousand dollar thing and it was crazy with Squarespace. The templates are insanely professional. They help you with marketing, they help you build lists of customers. All of the things that you need in a website, you can do now as an individual with Squarespace. Absolutely incredible. Squarespace, thanks again for sponsoring. I'd love it if you hit that link in the description, get a free trial, check out Squarespace. So then what happened is, a lot of skateboarders started getting onto YouTube. Like, seriously, one out of two YouTubers was first a skateboarder. Just do the, do the research. I bet you'll find that that is true. They got onto YouTube. The hand thing still made sense for takes because a lot of them started with tape. Even when we transitioned to digital, the hand thing was still happening. And then the hand thing just became its own thing. And like most people don't know that that is, it actually served a purpose in the beginning, not just kind of this wonderful throwback to all of our roots in filmmaking and skateboarding. That's the hand thing. <laughs> but ooh, that was a trash bag full of water that just splashed all over my board. It's all right, it's cool.